But first, our top story tonight. Police say a woman in Greenwood kept her disabled husband trapped alone in a room for two years in deplorable conditions. And now she faces a felony neglect charge. Our Jenny Runovich tonight spoke with prosecutors and the person who discovered that man in danger. Prosecutors say the key to the victim's survival was an alert neighbor who saw something unusual and contacted Greenwood police. Without that, they say the man would not have survived. Prosecutors say for years, this Greenwood home held a terrible secret. A disturbing case of neglect kept hidden until neighbor Lisa took action. She got worried when she hadn't seen Darlene Dickinson's 71-year-old disabled husband for months. When you're over there as much as I was there and you see nothing, it's kind of a red flag. So I started questioning. Lisa waited until Dickinson went out one day in May and went over to look for the man. And I went to the bedroom window. There was bugs, stuff all over the window, so I knew. She found flies, feces, and the vulnerable victim begging for help. He was in a very dirty t-shirt and a diaper and covered in feces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was bad. It was the worst thing I'd ever seen. So yeah, I mean, she pretty much, he was at her mercy. Prosecutors say Darlene Dickinson confined her husband to a bedroom for two years. A stroke survivor and an amputee trapped here. When police got to the house, the victim weighed just 100 pounds. He told investigators his wife withheld medication and fed him just one Meals on Wheels dinner and one warm Pepsi per day. And that room he was in? Covered in trash, it was covered in rotten food, and it was covered in feces. Investigators say the rest of the house was immaculate. Everything but that bedroom. Hers is a 10 and his was a minus 10. Yeah, the bed was literally rotted out with feces. Police arrested Dickinson Tuesday afternoon. Her husband, meanwhile, is doing much better. He's gained 30 pounds, he's with his son, and recently met with the neighbor who saved his life. And all he could do was tell me I was his hero. And I said, no, I'm just your friend. I would do it again. So, yeah, he's very thankful. He says, I saved his life. And it's just what we do. So, again, Dickinson faces that felony neglect charge. Prosecutors say that carries up to three years in prison if convicted.